At the outset of this story, we are introduced to a man named Nicholas, who goes to his sister's bar. Today is Nicholas's marriage anniversary. It's been five years since he got married, but he is not happy with his marriage. That's why he tells his sister that it's possible that he will get divorced soon. And my wife has a very strange habit. She plays a game with me on every anniversary day in which she hides the gifts. And I have to find those gifts through some gestures. But now a lot of things in his married life are over. After this, when Nicholas comes home, he sees that his wife is not at home. The table is broken in front of him. The glass is scattered. He finds it strange. That's why he immediately calls the detective. When she searches the entire house, he doubts Nicholas that his wife is involved in his disappearance because there are a lot of evidences in the house, which clearly show that Nicholas didn't have an affair with his wife. Actually, Nicholas is a writing teacher in a school, whereas his wife, whose name is Amy, was a writer herself. She was very famous. And now because the detective doubts Nicholas, she takes him to the police station where she asks him a lot of questions, but he doesn't give a proper answer to any of the questions. But because there was no concrete evidence against him, the detective has to leave him. This news spreads all over the world that Nicholas' wife Amy has suddenly disappeared. And because Nicholas is also not interested in this case, that's why everyone doubts him and his sister, that because of the greed for money, they have made Amy disappear. Then when Nicholas comes home, he gets lost in his old memories. It is shown here that his wife Amy, along with being famous, is also very rich. When the financial situation in the country deteriorated, these two lost their jobs. After this, Nicholas's mother falls ill. That's why he decides to leave this city and go to his mother. Although he didn't take any advice from Amy about this, he didn't ask her permission, but still she goes with him. But after a few days, his mother dies, but he still stays here. He doesn't go back to his house. Nicholas' habit had become such that he didn't feel like working. That's why Amy opened a bar for him, which he used to run with his sister. He himself became very lazy. He started running away from work. Moreover, his relations with Amy also started getting spoiled. They used to fight a lot. He used to beat her a lot. After which Nicholas got a job as a writing teacher in a school where he meets a girl and very soon they start getting along. Now the story comes back to the present time where the detective finds bloodstains on Nicholas' house because of which his suspicion on Nicholas becomes more firm but the detective gets to know from the neighbors that Amy didn't consider herself to be in a relationship with Nicholas, and that's why she bought a gun. And when he checks in the washroom, he finds Amy's samples there. He sends them to the lab, and when he gets the report, he gets to know that Amy was pregnant. But when this is told to Nicholas, he refuses it. He says that she can't have a child because it's not possible. There is no such relation between us. The detective suspects him, that's why he doesn't believe anything he says. And now a woman comes to his neighborhood who was also expecting a child. She tells him that she is Amy's good friend. She always wanted to have a child, but Nicholas didn't want that. He didn't have any such relation with Amy. Now Nicholas suspects that woman because he was sure that Amy couldn't talk to anyone like this in her neighborhood, nor would she like to be friends with him. He tells this to the detective, but still he doesn't believe it. After investigating further, the detective finds Amy's diary here, on which it was written that Nicholas's life is in danger. One of his companions says that he has found one more thing against him. Now we should arrest Nicholas, but she couldn't do that because she still doesn't have any solid proof that Nicholas killed his wife or made her disappear. After that, we see a girl who was driving a car, who was none other than Amy, who has completely changed her appearance Amy starts thinking about the day when she went to the bar to meet Nicholas, where she saw Nicholas with the same student outside the bar. Both of them were standing very close because they had made their relationship. Seeing this, Amy was very sad because she always supported Nicholas, although she was from a rich family, but still she married Nicholas. When she didn't have money or work, then Amy opened a bar for her. And now when she is cheating him, then she can't tolerate this. That's why she decides to take revenge on Nicholas. She spends money from his credit card so that everyone thinks that Nicholas is rich. That's what she spends. Other than this, she gets his insurance document signed and gives his insurance money. 
so that everyone thinks that because of the insurance money, Nicholas killed his wife. Along with that, she befriended the neighbor who was going to have a child, who was saying that I am Amy's friend. Amy told her that my relationship with Nicholas is not good. We always have fights and arguments. She did this so that she can get her neighbor sympathy. Other than this, she deliberately left her sample in the washroom so that the police think that because Amy was pregnant, she was going to have a child. That's why Nicholas killed her. Because a woman who is going to have a child is punished for killing her. She takes out her blood from her body and she puts it on the floor and cleans it so that the police get her marks. And she always used to play a game with her husband on the anniversary day in which she used to find gifts for Nicholas with some signs. But this time she played the game, but she left the clothes and signs for the detective. Now he goes to his sister's garage and he is surprised to see that someone has bought a lot of things and kept them here because this was the shopping done with his card. When she checks the stuff, she finds out that along with the useless stuff, there is also a weapon with which Amy was murdered. His sister is very scared to see this because along with Nicholas, she can also get trapped in this case. But he leaves these things and goes from there. But the detective who was always following him comes here with his friends and he finds the murder weapon, after which both the brothers are arrested. But after some time, Nicholas gets bail. After coming back, he meets a very good lawyer and he tells him everything. He also says that he never felt safe with his wife, Amy. Somewhere, his mental balance was bad. After this, Nicholas goes to Amy's first friend, on whom Amy had accused of misbehaving with him, and he had also got him arrested for forcibly accusing him. After talking to him, Nicholas comes to know that Amy is taking revenge from him. He did the same with his friend, and now he goes to meet Amy's other friend, who is very rich. This rich friend refuses to talk to Nicholas because even today he loves Amy. We see Amy, who lives in a small town. When she was out with her neighbors, then her money falls. Her neighbors see that she has so much money, and as soon as night falls, they come to her house and rob all her money and leave. Now she doesn't have any money. She feels sad and starts crying. Seeing the situation, she calls her rich friend, who still loves her. She calls him to meet her, and when he comes, she tells him that, Nicholas always used to beat me. He used to torture me. He was in danger of my life. That's why I left that house, and now I don't want to go back there after which his friend brings him to his house. And he says that you can stay here for some time. No one comes here. It is shown in the town that everyone believes that Amy is still alive. That's why everyone marches for her. That is, they light candles, put up pictures, and pray for her to return. In front of everyone, Nicholas says a lot of emotional things. That I love you very much, Amy. The doors of my heart and house are always open for you. So please come back. That student of Nicholas was also standing in this crowd. And when she hears this, she gets very angry. That's why she tells the media that Nicholas and I have become related. And as soon as she hears this, everyone starts hating Nicholas. She was convinced that he either made his wife disappear or killed her. Then he goes to meet his lawyer, where the lawyer tells him that now all the evidence is against you. You have become quite infamous. That's why my advice is that you go to an interview of a famous show where you tell that you love your wife a lot. You will have to go there and accept all your mistakes because if your wife is really conspiring against you, then she must be keeping an eye on you through TV and news. It is possible that she will come back home after getting emotional because of what you said. After which Nicholas does the same. He goes to that show and tells that I love my wife a lot. I want her to come back soon after which he acts like crying. Amy was also watching this interview with her close friend. And when she looks at Nicholas closely, then she finds out that he is wearing the same tie that I had given him as a gift. When she was listening to Nicholas closely, then her friend also sees this. And now finally she decides to go home, but her friend refuses to let her go. He wants Amy to always stay with him, but now Amy's heart and mind has started to change somewhere. That's why now she starts getting angry on her friend, because he is not letting her go. He is stopping her. When her friend leaves from there, then she starts making scars on her body. Then at night, when her friend comes back from work, then she brings him to the room by mistake. And there she brutally kills him. So brutally that her own clothes and body are covered with blood. 
after which she leaves from there and comes back to her house in a car, where the entire media was already present, which Amy sees that he is alive and covered in blood. At Amy's house, Nicholas is also seen in front of her, and she goes straight and hugs him. But Nicholas was sure that he is a big cheater, so this must be his new plan. After which he is taken to the hospital, where she tells all the detectives that when I used to study in school in my childhood, then me and my rich friend were very good friends. He always used to write letters to me, and once on the anniversary day, he came to my house. I ran to save my life, but he attacked me with a stick, in which I fainted. And taking advantage of this, he took me to his lake house, where he did everything that he wanted to do. And if you want proof, then you go to his house and check the CCTV cameras. Actually, she used to react intentionally in front of the cameras that my friend has kept me here forcefully, and he is torturing me. But here, the detective who was watching this case from the beginning starts to suspect Amy, and she starts to believe what he was saying from the beginning. That detective asks her that, if your friend kidnapped you, then why did the murder weapon on which your blood was applied come to that garage and how did it come? She doesn't answer this question. Instead, she says to him in anger, that thank God I came back. If I hadn't come back, then you would have imprisoned my innocent husband in the jail. After which, she pretends to be unconscious, but the detective is now completely suspicious of her. After which, Nicholas brings her to his house and tells her to stop this drama. I know that you are absolutely fine and you have killed your rich friend. And she was so clever that first she checks if Nicholas has a recorder or if he is recording what I am saying. After which, she tells the whole truth. But what was the use of this? Because who was going to believe what Nicholas was saying? Because now everyone was with Amy. Afterward, she mentions, When I saw your interview, I was convinced that you are the best for me. And that is why I came back. Now Nicholas meets his lawyer and detective and tells them all these things. The detective says that I have no evidence against him. She has killed her friend to save herself. That is why, even if this matter is brought in front of everyone, he will not be arrested. Then at night, when Nicholas was at his house, Amy takes him with her. And seeing Nicholas, it seemed that he is now scared of Amy. Anyway, the next morning, a reporter was going to come to take his interview. So before she comes, Amy tells Nicholas that you will have to accept all those things, which I had planned. That is, you had shopped with a credit card. You had also raised your hand on me because our relationship was not good before. But now everything is fine. But by doing this, he clearly refuses. That I do not want to live with you. I want a divorce from you. On which Amy tells him that I'm going to be the mother of your child. So you cannot leave me. Hearing this, Nicholas is very surprised. That's why in a fit of anger, he exclaims that it's impossible. We had no such relationship. On which Amy says that I had also planned for him. You do not remember, but I had made that relationship with you. That is why now I am the mother of your child. After hearing this, Nicholas goes out of his control. The ground comes out of his feet. That is why he starts hitting him again. He says that I will never live with you. How can you do such a lowly act? On which she says that you will have to live with me, that the whole world is against you. And when your child is born in the future, then I will also put hatred in his heart for you. So now here, Nicholas is completely trapped because he knows that that child is my responsibility. So now, even though he is helpless, but he decides to live with Amy, after which they have an interview and they both announce that very soon our child is going to be born. Actually, now Nicholas had made a compromise with the situation. So it is shown in the story that if any of the couple betrays, then their life comes to such a bad turn and they do not know what all situations they have to face like what happened to Nicholas, because he was betraying his wife, although she was so good with him, and the other person from the couple also wants that these things should not be so much on their head, that they take you on the wrong track, like what Amy did. She wanted that she should talk to her husband with love. Then maybe she would not have to see all this. Because of her cleverness, she betrayed so many people. That is why we get this lesson that always be loyal to your partner and only be his. With this, the story ends here.